obsession. As the name suggests, people constantly think about things. For example, germs, health, money, weight, looks and so on. People take on actions that become constant rituals. The rituals increase the obsession. People can go the opposite way, where avoiding something becomes the obsession. Obsessions can make small problems seem massive. Try to reduce rituals and accept any thought that goes through your mind and ignore it. Accept that you will feel anxiety, facing up to things until you have a skin like a rhino and the thoughts just bounce off. It may hurt getting used to things. Memory problems and low confidence in your memory can increase obsessional checking. If you have a bad ritual, try giving yourself a time limit, then stop. When stopping becomes a habit, you are getting better. If you cannot stop the habit, try to delay the ritual. Look at things that may go wrong. Ask yourself how much or little is your fault. This helps you stop blaming yourself. Low self-esteem. You may consider yourself bad in areas of your life. We all have self-worth, but some people believe other people's values, which put people down to build themselves up. As you think about positive things, make a note of them. Eventually, the positives will outweigh the negative. Life experience can make you grow and improve. If you focus on the positive, accept that you have faults. They will sort themselves out in time as you grow and improve. We are all unique. Accept frustration. If you do have faults, it does not mean you need to change them. It's just what makes you unique. Do not call yourself bad names. You may start to believe them. Anger. Triggers for anger could be someone has broken one of your rigid rules or beliefs. You get angry to defend what you believe. Someone may have done something to your self-esteem. You may think they disrespect you. In most cases, it is the way that you interpret the action. Most people are not having a go at you. It does not matter if someone disrespects you. That's their problem. As long as you respect yourself. People are so different to each other. So do not expect them to think or believe the same things as you do. No one is more right than the other. Sometimes just bend with the wind so that you do not snap. Do not judge or put people down. It will not raise your self-worth. Learn to tolerate frustration. Learn to be assertive, using reason rather than aggression. Persuade people to do what you want. It is better than getting angry with someone who will get angry with you. That way no one wins. Which do you respond to? Being told? Being asked? or being suggested. Core beliefs are rules and beliefs you have built up in your mind, based on your experience and the rules set in to you by others who have had a level of control over you. Once you have a belief, you subconsciously look for proof that the belief is right, even if it is wrong. 
examining your beliefs can lead to the answers to your problems. If you can change your belief, you may be able to change your problem. The belief may have had a real use at some time, risk, danger or safety. Beliefs can develop depending on the emotional state you are in at the time. When you are depressed, happy or angry, etc., ask the question, What does this say about me? From the answer, keep asking the question until you have a list of answers. One of these answers should be the core belief that is causing problems. Try flashcards. Flashcards. Ask yourself. 1. What is your core belief? 2. How does your core belief affect the way you interpret events? 3. How do you act when a core belief is triggered? 4. Can you look at things in a different way? 5. What alternative behaviour is there? Look back at an event that caused you trouble. Work out what belief you had from that event. Work out a better belief to have. Move towards the new belief, slowly, until it changes away you view the event. Then you can start again with a better belief. Keep growing. If you have not accepted the new belief, pretend that you have. Fake it until you make it. Fail the fear and do it anyway. Working on a logical thought may not work until it is an emotional thought. The difference between liking and loving. Be flexible in your thinking, the rule. You do not need to be 100% sure. 20% will do. Dilute the belief if it is causing problems. Go and do things that are opposite to your nature or belief. This will toughen you up for the occasion when you need to do things that you do not approve of because of your belief. Get yourself a hobby or pastime that will take you away from your problems to distract you. You are allowed to relax. Health and happiness. The way that you think affects the way you feel, physically and mentally. And they change the way that you think. When you are depressed, you will focus on the condition and reinforce it. Try to find occupations that take you away from depression. Build up your concentration level with easy to hard subjects. Eat healthily. Keep fit. Meet people. Do hobbies. Organize your life. Set goals or targets. Religion or meditation can help. Watch out for how illness affects. Chill out. Relax. Do not isolate yourself. It will make you notice your illness more. Talking. Try to find the right time and place to say something. But if you wait for the perfect time, you will never say what you are thinking. So just say it. Learn how to use words to get a point over. Politeness can help. Not everybody will say things your way. Be prepared to compromise or give and take. Sex drive can drop when you are ill. Build up your approach to sex. Small things up to intimate again. This takes the pressure off. Do things you want. Do not feel you have to. To your own self be true. You will have to compromise in life. But try to stay as close to your rules and beliefs 
as possible. You can change your rules and beliefs as you go through life. Work out what your values are. Do you need to adjust your values? Doing things against your will can cause conflict in your mind. You may be convinced that your feelings are wrong or that no one will understand you. You back off from people or you isolate yourself. You deny the problem exists. You blame others for your problems. You think that the symptoms are worse than they are. You are convinced that everybody notices and judges your problem. You hide from looking for answers. You stop asking for help. You could feel guilty about the problem. You may think that you can do it all yourself. You may feel it is the weak that ask for help. Pride comes before fall. It is good that you can be self-reliant, but we all need help from time to time. You would not look down on someone who asks for help. They are wise enough to ask you 